Okay, playing stuff. Um, I'm going to start with the... I don't know, do you want me to start with the left-hand stuff or the right-hand stuff? Right-hand was the, you know, natural like that versus... I am going to go left-hand first. All right, cool. So that's, and that's the way you approach it. So, you know, um, before you try to do the actual song, I think really just working on the, you know, like if you start on C here and you go... Or, uh, at first, our subconscious assumes there's going to be way more index finger slides than there are. Just going like... And then just try to move it up to the fourth string and see what's feeling different. Want to mention right off the bat, not bending the string down, which you were already doing better at during the lesson, so props. Um, so yeah, just kind of go, you know, just getting a feeling for what we're going to be doing. Um, anyway, so the first type of slide there is is one that's just accenting a note by sliding it into it, like that's the melody, as opposed to we're going. And right hand wise, just do whatever. Um, but you can see what I'm doing here. Um, cool. So. And that passes on E, and then we just start the same thing right there on D, where we're already hanging out, same exact thing. So, so I get all kinds of good at that, and maybe like, there's a starting tempo. Second section, uh, which is like a minute and 40 on your recording, goes, So we hit A three times, and then we slide forward, but now we're doing the other type of slide where it is a two note melody. So so we got these hammer ons that sound like one note. They'll always sort of sound like boom, but yeah. And that makes four. Cool. And then when we started focusing on your picking hand more, we did an easier version of this. Also just note you know that we were like G stuff, D stuff, A stuff in this riff. Noticing that we can go and then, you know, just at least for that part and try to do it alternating. So, you know, on my right hand now I'm going one, two, one, two, one, two, and then so just kind of check that out, you know, it going is the same as going string instruments is a lot of nuance, so that's why the slides in it for and some shit. Um, cool, and uh, we finished up with, like, without any of the weird hammer-ons and stuff, so. So there's our easy bass version of it uh, that's got no nuance, just... So four minutes in, we're just talking about this stuff we were doing. So first, we're just going to go, and you're going to be going first finger, second finger. And here it's going to be important for you to you know, straighten your fingers out so that when you know you hit the A string, your finger comes to rest on the E string. And that when you hit the E string, it's not such a up motion that you can't get right back to it. Um, yeah, so in at the instrument. So first you can just do it with open strings, just go. First we're doing the normal kind where we're just alternating between fingers, just first finger, doing one finger per string. You know, when I hit this note, it's ringing out until I hit this note, and that meets it, and then I just do the same thing again. Cool. And when we start to do that faster, like, 
and we start to do it. We, um, the brick, we do that, we're going. Now it's going one, two, two, one. And the reason we're doing that is to kind of naturally use our hand movement to, when we hit the A string, it comes to rest here. It's already just chilling there to pick that note. So that's one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one. So just get all kinds of sick at that, and then uh, do it on the other strings. Anyway, so there we go, there's that part, and getting some, uh, yeah, you're good in five minutes here. Getting some, uh, you know, left hand involvement, we were just gonna use power chords. Um, so then we got into this. And you've got it on your page what we're going to do it, and we're going to do it. You know, just get really good on it on um, on adjacent strings, using the fifth, and then try an octave, which is a uh, got a string in between. Um, cool. So I guess we just threw this on to uh, to one video. Uh, we threw a piece of tape on for hey that C, and kind of applying not so much the ninth fret being relevant. Um, so there's the new stuff we did today. Uh, you're also going to go back over your C fingerings and uh, just learn the note names and stuff. I know having to memorize these note names is a pain in the ass, but it's just the same thing as when you start a piano. You know, we just have to decide to know some of them. Um, and really quiz yourself on it. Like, you know, if you can actually make yourself spend a really boring 10 seconds of your life taking, like, to eight note cards and writing like G, D, A, so all the all the ones that were and then like just shuffle them up and turn them over and quiz yourself. That's when you're actually going to start to remember this stuff. So, you know, if you come up with whatever way you did it, if you tried to make it an arbitrary pattern, random pattern in your head, you would still have a pattern to it, if completely by accident, subconsciously. So. If you can make yourself have a thing where it's just like, you know, so it's a geography test. This is the land of D, this is the land of B, no thought process to it, whatever, uh, whatsoever I meant to say. Um, awesome. So, and then we're just going to go, number one still exists, number two still exists, you know, play and point. Um, and something else we were doing is uh, that our, you know, our kind of our default way of playing those in the long run, it's going to be to start on the root on the way up, and then when you come back down, and then everything simulating what's usually going to happen when you're playing fingering number one is that you're going to have to go, or, so kind of C and the stuff above it, C and the stuff below it, and you're doing that for all the fingerings, but only if you get to it.